1837, Albert Sidney Johnston survived a duel against Texas Brigadier General Felix Houston. Unfortunately, the effects of his wound probably contributed to his death at the Battle of Shiloh on April 6, 1862. Johnston has the unfortunate stat of being the highest ranking general on either side killed during the Civil War. In September 1861, Johnston was made the general and commander of the Confederate Western Department. He held a line of defense from Kentucky's Cumberland Gap to the town of Columbus. In February 1862, United States General Ulysses S. Grant and Flag Officer A.H. Foote captured Fort Henry on the Tennessee River. Grant then proceeded to capture Fort Donelson on the Cumberland River. As such, the Union controlled both rivers, and Johnston's defense line became impossible to hold. His forces moved to Corinth, Mississippi, where they joined General P.G.T. Beauregard. Meanwhile, Grant's army was stationed at Pittsburgh Landing. Johnston intended to attack Grant on April 5, 1862, but he was held back by heavy rains. His army attacked on April 6, near Shiloh Church. He was successful at first in pushing General William Sherman's men back to an area called the Crossroads. The Hornet's Nest, just north of this point, saw the bloodiest fighting. Johnston was shot in the leg when he rode too far ahead of his troops. Because he suffered nerve damage from his dueling wound, he didn't realize the seriousness of his injury until his boot was filled with blood. He quickly bled to death on the battlefield. It is said that he had a tourniquet in his pocket when he died. Johnston was buried temporarily in New Orleans. His journey finally ended in 1867 when his remains were taken to the State Cemetery in Austin, Texas.